better than that. Nah. It's my turn. Rotten or pressy, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. I've a mind to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. with him the dance of life and death. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden. Such a divine secret. Where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. 
You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Goodbye, Milton. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now.
If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody...
behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness... ...moves faster than influenza. Surely grant me access to the basement. Balls of Mars, fortifiers, <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective, but. They do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. It's locked. Locked, all right. Skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. D. 
Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this.
Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. You always knew the words to calm the children, Ellen. As for me... You? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. So this is how it ends. Farewell, my life, you betrayed me, good. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. 
Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. <laughs>